Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be doing a much requested video and showing you how to use the Cadence Footer Builder. So I previously did a video showing you how to use the Cadence Header Builder and I've got lots and lots of comments come through asking me how do we use the Footer Builder. So on today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you. Let's dive right on in to my screen and I'll show you exactly how to use the Footer Builder to build out a dynamic footer on your website. So here I am on a fresh clean installation of WordPress. Actually, it's not fresh and clean. I have been working with ShopKit, so I'll be doing a video tutorial guide very soon showing you how to use ShopKit to create a really dynamic e-commerce website. So once you install WordPress, you might see that the default footer looks something like this. So this at the bottom, where it's got your copyrights, your website name, and then WordPress theme by Cadence. So we are going to look at how we can dynamically build out a better looking footer with the Footer Builder. So to get to the Footer Builder, we can either come to the Customize at the top here, or we can go back to our dashboard. And then from the dashboard, we can click on Appearance and then Customize. Now that's going to open the customizer and you can either click on footer here on the left hand side or you can come here and when you come here and hover over the bottom footer section, you will see these blue boxes and then you'll also see these edit pencil tools and that will allow you to edit the footer elements. So if you click on this, then the footer builder will pop up at the bottom and as you can see, the footer builder is much like the header builder. It is made up of rows and within those rows, we have columns. So we have a top row, a middle row, and then we have a bottom row. So at the moment in our bottom row, we have this copyright and the copyright includes the date, the name of the website and the theme that is created by Cadence. So basically to create a dynamic footer layout, all we're going to be doing is adding elements to our rows and our columns and then styling them. So what you're going to do is you're going to hover over any column and you're going to click on the plus icon. Now, if I click on this plus icon, you'll see some elements pop up. So what I can do is I can either add footer navigation, I can add social media links, or I can add widgets. And those widgets can be blocks. So you can use your cadence blocks in your footer builder. So let's first look at adding the footer navigation. So if we click on footer navigation, we can see the navigation that pops up on the bottom there. So we can now click on the settings icon. We click on that, then it's going to open the footer navigation settings on the left hand side. And this is where we can select the menu. We can also stretch the menu. We can align the menu and we can align the menu depending on the device. So whether it's desktop, tablet or mobile, and then we can also align it vertically. You can also see there's a design tab. So if we click on the design tab, this will then allow us to change the item spacing. It will allow us to change the navigation colors, the navigation background and the font. Now, as you can see, it's now breaking into two lines and that's something we don't want. So we want it to kind of stretch out across the whole row. So what I will do is I will come to this middle row, click on that and come to this general tab. And this will allow me to choose one column, two columns, four or five. So I'm going to say one column. And as you can see, that goes away. So we're gonna click on the plus icon again and we're just gonna click footer navigation. And so that pops up there and it's the full width. Now, the reason why it's so stretched is because I toggled that stretch menu toggle button. Now, if I click on this again, um, you can see the general settings. So you can choose the columns, you can choose the column direction as well. So whether it goes in row or column format, I can also do the column spacing, the widget spacing and then the top bottom spacing and the minimum height. The other design settings I have for the row, if I click on design, is I can change the widget titles, the widget content, the link colors and the row background colors. So let's say for example, we wanted a different row background color, I can do so and then I can change the link colors to 
white and then hover color maybe pink and if that doesn't change because this would change the widgets what i would need to do is come to the footer navigation and come to design and change that there and then the hover colors and then this color is the current page okay so let's say for example we actually wanted this to be four columns and in each column we wanted a different menu with a menu title so let's go to the middle row again come to the general settings and let's say we want four columns so let's click on four columns we'll now see the footer navigation goes in there but actually i want that over here and in here i wanted to put my logo so i'm going to click on this i'm going to click widget one then i'm going to click here that's then going to open up the block widgets so i can just click got it and then i'm going to add a block and now i can choose from any cadence block so let's do the advanced image and then i'm going to select an image or i'm going to insert one from a url so let's select an image um, and i can either upload a file or i can grab one from my media library okay so i'm going to choose this logo that i popped in earlier so i'm going to click select and there it is okay so now we've got our logo we've got our footer navigation and we would also like a navigation here and maybe an opt-in okay so we're going to click on this and we're going to do widget 2. this is now where we are going to add this in and we're going to do a menu so we're going to type in menu and we're going to use a navigation menu okay and we can create a menu that goes in there so i haven't actually created a menu on my website so i can click publish here and then i can create a menu quickly the primary menu Click create menu. Let's select all, add to menu, and then click save menu. Okay, so let's go back to our customizer and we're going to click on this. That will bring up the footer builder. We're going to click on widget two. We're going to click here and the title will be, let's say, information. And then we can select our menu and click primary menu okay so this is there's only one option for navigation through cadence in your footer builder here you can add in as many navigation menus through a widget so here we're going to add in an opt-in so we click on this we're going to click widget three we're going to click there and then we're going to add in a form Okay, and we, oh, we don't need the name, we don't need message. And what you can do is you can style it further by clicking on these three dots and then you can show more settings. And this is where you can style it. So let's say for example, we don't want the field label to show, um, we want the placeholder to say email address. And if possible, we would like it to be 80%. Oh, let's actually make it 75. And then the button as well, we would like to change. So we're gonna come down here where it says submit styles, and we are going to change this to about 25%. And that kind of goes in line with that. And we can now change the sizing of the button and we can change the font sizing. So let's just bring the font sizing down. Let's bring it down to about 16. Maybe make it 12. And then click publish. Okay, so that starts to change this. If you don't want that spacing there, there is a section where you just need to change the, the margin. So it's zero here. And then you'll just need to change the row gap. So if you come to field styles and you scroll down here to where it says row gap, you just press zero and you can change the gutter as well. So what I do like is I prefer that the button is the same height as this. So let's just change this font sizing. Maybe to 16. Okay, so let's change this button sizing so it looks a bit better. And then we come back to our email settings and change this to 66. Okay, so that looks better already. The next thing we wanna to add to this specific column is social media icons. So if we click on this plus icon, we can click social 
and what we wanted was for this to be underneath so we're going to come to the middle row settings and we're going to change the column direction to column and then that will put that below there we'll then be able to go to our social settings and we'll be able to add whichever social media icons we'd like so let's say for example we also want to include youtube and i don't like that facebook icon i prefer that one and i prefer this one and then i can go to my design and i can change the border radius and the sizing as well that's better and i can change the colors let's make it white and the background color this that's better and the hover color this one and this white okay so that's pretty cool so the last thing I want to show you is how to add your Instagram feed and this is something that quite a lot of people like to add to their footer so what we're going to do is we're just going to close this and we're going to come to plugins we're going to click on add new and then in these search plugins we are going to type in smash balloon click enter and then we're going to click install now and it's the smash balloon social photo feed so we'll click install now and then we're going to click activate okay so once we have activated it what we need to do is we need to link it with our instagram feed so we're going to come to instagram feed here on the left hand side we're going to click on all settings and then the first thing we're going to do is click add new and this is where we are going to link up our instagram account with our website so we're going to click next we're going to click add source and what we'll need to do is we will need to log into our instagram account and give it access to our website so give our website access to our instagram account log in yes okay so once we have linked it we're just going to click there and choose the instagram feed we would like to link and we're going to click next okay so once it has been linked you'll see it come up here and this is a preview of what it's going to look like when you use that short code anywhere on your website so the great thing is this plugin gives you many customizing options so you can click feed layout here and you can choose how many items you want to show so i'm going to do six and six on mobile and the columns i want are six and then i also would like three okay and then i don't want this at the top and i don't want this so i'm just going to go back to the customizer and i'm going to take away that load more and the header let's disable the header and the follow button we're just going to disable and then i'm going to click save once i've clicked save i've got this blue button here that says embedded i'm going to click on that and i'm going to copy this short code i'm going to close this and I'm going to head back to appearance and then customize. Once I'm back here, I'm gonna open the footer builder. So to open the footer builder, click here or click anywhere here. And then I'm going to click here because I'd like to add it above this row. So click here and then I'm gonna click widget form. Then I'm gonna click on settings and I'm gonna click here and add a block and I'm going to do the HTML block. And then I'm going to just paste in that short code and I'm going to click publish okay so once that has been done I'm going to click close and I'm going to open up my website and there we go okay it's really really small so I'm going to just go back to the customizer and I just want to bring up the footer build again we can move this over so we can click and we can drag it over like that I'm going to click on this top row and just make it one column and then I'm going to click publish again click close and that looks a lot better okay so let me just show you one more thing before i finish up so in the customizer um much like your header builder you can move things around so if we open up your footer builder we can just click there drag and we can move things around so let's say for example we want this at the bottom we can do so and then that will pop up there so let's move that back up there Okay, so that's how you use the footer builder. It's just as easy as using the header builder. And that's why I love Cadence so much. So if you are interested in more Cadence videos, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out these other videos.